Hello. Uh, today we shall talk about exact equations. This is uh, the last part uh, from section 1.6 and this is uh, the last thing, the last item in chapter 1. After uh, working with these equations, we start the review and prepare for the first test. Before talking about exact equations, I want to make a note on partial derivatives. I believe uh, most of you have uh, taken Calc 3, you know what is uh, partial derivative, but just in case. Uh, let's say we have a function with two variables, x and y. And for example, take this function, 3x uh, fifth power, y squared minus x squared cosine y function of two variables we can differentiate with respect to x and also with respect to y uh, we can differentiate with respect to x considering y a constant so let's say y is constant does not change fixed and then we differentiate the function with respect to x. This is partial derivative for x. Uh, it's uh, written this way. And ignore y. Differentiate uh, with respect to x. You have uh, 15x fourth power y squared minus 2x cosine y. So y does not participate. Uh, now we can take x to be constant. Uh, and do the same with respect to y. Differentiate with respect to y. x is uh, fixed. So here we have partial deriv derivative with respect to y will be. So we ignore 3x fifth power and we have... Uh, uh, this is like a constant differentiate with respect to y you have 2y minus x squared and here we have negative sine y derivative so let's write this again we have uh, 6x fifth power y plus x squared sine y partial derivative uh, with respect to y and here above also with respect to x now i shall take f of x uh, fx uh, and differentiate this for y it's a function of two variables so i can differentiate it for y 2y will come from uh, y squared so this becomes 30x fourth power y and plus 2x sine y. 2, 2x we ignore, differentiate to y. Now take the derivative f sub y and differentiate this for x. This derivative. Uh, we ignore y, differentiate with respect to x. We have 30x fourth power uh, y plus 2x sine y. These are the same. Let's make this better physical. Make here better 30. Uh, here we have 30x fourth power y. But you see it's the same. Well, that's not a coincidence. There is a theorem uh, which uh, you study in Calc 3, which says that these mixed derivatives are the same for every continuous function, that, uh, continuous derivatives. Such a theorem, very interesting. And uh, now we are ready to go to exact equations.
Uh, first, uh, we look at the equations which are written in this form. M x y, a function of two variables m, times the x plus n, another function of two variables x y, times the y equals zero. Uh, practically, every differential equation can be written in this form, but not such not all such equations are exact. Uh, to be exact, we need a special condition. Derivative of the function m with respect to y should equal the derivative of n with respect to x. So that's the so-called exactness condition. I'll put it in red. Very important. Now, if this is present, the equation is called exact, and then we can find the, there exists a function of two variables, which is called potential function, such that uh, is the derivative with respect to x is m, and the derivative with respect to y is n. Uh, when we find such a function, the equation can be written fx dx plus fy dy equals 0. The expression on the left side is exact differential, the differential of the function of two variables. So this is the same as df equals zero. And there is a, another theorem from uh, multivariable calculus, which says that uh, if the differential of one function is zero over some region, then the function is constant. fxy is constant. And this is our general solution. And the theorem that I just mentioned, it extends a theorem from Calc 1. Uh, there is a theorem which says that if the derivative of one function is zero, the function is constant. And here, uh, extending the two variables, if the differential is zero, the function is constant. So the general solution looks like this. Uh, it gives you a family of curves. Here I want to make a remark that uh, if my is different from nx, such f does not exist. Because uh, if uh, we have a function if we have uh, a function f x y uh, with uh, f x equals m, f y equals n, these partial partial derivatives, then uh, f x y this mixed derivative this will be m for y. Uh, it should equal f y x this makes the really when we uh, swap x and y and f y x this will be n of x so see what happens m y equals n x and if this is not true such a function will, will not exist okay so the exactness condition is important i want to do now one example Uh, for solving exact equations. And more examples you'll find uh, in the company notes. On Moodle I have put uh, notes with more examples. Now, let's solve this equation. 3x squared y minus y fourth power of this times the x plus x cubed minus 4xy cubed, all this times dy, equals 0. Now, the function with dx we call m, mxy, the function with the dy we call n. 
and checking the exactness condition. Differentiate m with respect to y. Uh, so we take uh, 3x squared, that's like a coefficient for y, and then minus 4y cubed. Now differentiate n with respect to x. We have uh, 3x squared from the first term. From the second term, 4y cubed is coefficient for x, so minus 4y cubed. And we see that uh, uh, this is uh, n of x, n derivative of, with respect to x for the function n. So we see that the exact condition is present. The question is exact. Then we uh, are looking for function of two variables such that its partial derivative for x is m, which will be 3x squared minus, th sorry, just a second, 3x squared y minus y fourth power, partial derivative for y will be n x cubed minus 4xy cubed. So we have to discover this function. How to do that? Uh, sometimes simple guesswork will help. But if we don't see it immediately, we can just integrate one of these two equations. Uh, we can integrate the first with respect to x or the second with respect to y. So since derivative uh, with respect to x is uh, given here, I can write f will be integral fx dx. So this will be integral 3x squared y minus y fourth power dx, dx, integration with respect to x. Ignore y during this integration, and you get x cubed y minus y fourth power x plus c. Uh, this constant of integration may depend on y. So in general, it may depend on y because for different y, we can get different outcomes. But in our case, uh, this constant will be zero. So here, c equals zero. Uh, how to see this? Take the function that appears here, call this f. So let's take f to be x cubed y minus y fourth power x. And we can check that this function is what we need. Uh, its derivative with respect to x will be 3x squared minus y fourth power, that's exactly m. And the derivative with respect to y will be x cubed minus 4y cubed x. This is exactly the function n. This is a function n. Uh, okay, and now we have general solution. F x y equals c, uh, which gives uh, family of curves x cubed y minus y fourth power x equals c. Family of curves. They're called integral curves. We can have initial condition. Let's say we have initial condition. We're looking for a curve which goes through the point uh, 1, negative 1. So when x is 1, y is negative 1. Uh, there will be just one curve going here through this uh, point. So if we set x equals 1, y equals negative 1, the equation becomes mm, uh, 1, negative 1, negative 1 here in the first term, and negative 1 fourth power is plus 1, and then minus 1 again equals c, so c equals uh, 2. 
Okay, is this correct? Uh, here, oh, one, negative one, another negative one, and this equals C, so C equals negative two, sorry. And our M uh, curve here is uh, X cubed Y minus uh, X Y for well, let's start like that. And plus two equals zero. That we can write our uh, special solution this way. Here is a curve in the plane which goes to the point uh, one negative one and satisfies our equation. Now I want to show you that uh, there's nothing mystical about exact equations. You can take any uh, curve or family of curves in the plane and write exact equation for it. Uh, let's write exact equation. for this circle, x squared plus y squared equals nine. Here, this circle goes to the point x equals zero, y equals three. We can use this like initial condition. So take the function of two variables, fxy, which will be x squared plus y squared. Derivative with respect to x will be two x, uh, and with respect to y will be 2y. Uh, so I can write 2x dx plus 2y dy equals 0. Look at this uh, equation. Even when we reduce by 2, this will be x dx plus y dy equals 0. This uh, simple equation characterizes family of circles. Uh, function m is just x, n is y, m derivative of m with respect to y is 0, which is the same like the derivative of n with respect to x. And uh, we're looking for a function, if we want to solve it, function f, says that uh, derivative of x will be x derivative for y will be y and it's very simple to find that f will be uh, x squared over 2 plus y squared over 2 and then uh, x squared over 2 plus y squared over 2 equals c is the general solution we can write this also like uh, x squared plus y squared equals c uh, because um, 2 times c is c and then when you take uh, x equals 0 y equals 3 you compute that uh, c is 9 so we are coming to the same uh, circle from which we started x squared plus y squared equals 9 you can take any family of curves and construct an uh, exact equation corresponding to this family of curves. And if you uh, have initial condition, you get just one curve. Okay, uh, I'm done with this lecture. Please read uh, also the examples posted on Moodle on exact equations. And when you're done with this uh, topic, start the review of chapter one. Goodbye.